All right, so we're still outside the school, exploring, doing some missions, and we gotta keep going. I kind of want to fly at the same time. I don't. I don't want to miss, you know, locations or items. So we're gonna continue on here, and hopefully, I don't run into any enemies too strong. Doesn't seem like there's anything out here, though. I don't think we've been out here at all. This might be the first time we've been out here. Rebellion. Or not, because I see a flame. Man, there's so much stuff inside. That we might be able to get. Lumos. Oh, well, I guess not. So I don't know if we're going to be competing or racing or just trying to beat the clock here, but. We're going to see what this whole mission is about. And hopefully we can get some upgrades. I still don't know what they're all going to be about. but If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Amelda. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh. I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft. Ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I don't know how to fly. Did it. Yo, this is so weird. Why, why is it stopping like that? Oh, I know why. Brilliant. This is rather fun. I have forgot how to fly. I'm supposed to hold down R2. one
Yo, this flying thing is not easy. I'm gonna beat it though. Maybe. Oh, did anyone else see that? Yo, that is crazy. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Should we be mean? Nah. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. So I'm guessing she's talking about this one? Yo, 132? Is this like an online thing? I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. I mean, I placed on third. I think I could have done better if my flying skills were better, but they're not, so. I guess we can go back to him by fast traveling. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I wonder if he's gonna have upgrades. <laughs> oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Yeah, even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to them. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Okay, so no upgrades. So we're going to have to come Thanks back for or stopping figure something by. out. Hope to see you again. All right, we got a talent point. I'll take it. Let's see what we can upgrade. I have two actually. Let's go for stealth. What is this? Again? There's only four. My whole thing about upgrading all this, I'm going to make it possible. I'm going to find a way to get everything upgraded. So we got two missions done. Now I got to deliver the potions, which is the farthest one out. 
I don't know how I feel about that one. Because it is way out here. I should take a walk and get all this stuff here. That way we don't have to. And we can do these. We'll do those on the way if possible. That way we can upgrade our inventory, you know, space. That way we were able to get more gear. And, you know, pick up most of the stuff. So we're just going to run over there and kind of explore here, kind of look around, see what we can get, see what we see. And see what kind of trouble we can get into. Looks like there's one up there somewhere. So my guess is we're, we got to come up here. Right. Man, I hope I'm going the right way. What do you have in store for me this time? Is that it? Is that all of them? Let me back up. Alan himself would be proud. Awesome. So they don't seem to be too crazy. So we should be able to get most of them done, if not all of them. Looks like there's a page somewhere up there. But I'm going the wrong way. We're supposed to be going this way. I'm sure I'll be able to come back to it or I'll fly to it later on. I guess I can't break it. Okay, so we're just going to keep going. And the only reason why I'm choosing to walk is because it's my first time being on like this side of the map. So I kind of want to take a look at everything. Rebellion. Why is it showing something here? Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye. Let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Yo, there's a broom. Five thousand? 
man, that thing's n crazy. Even if I sell most of my stuff here, I don't think I'll be able to get it. I'm not really... Thank you for your patronage. Let's get those leaves, just so we can do the trial. That's been a pleasure. Because we need them for the trials. There's one oh, right here, too. It's a pleasant surprise. Incendio! That is not good. Revelio. Is it only two? Incendio. That one is the lowest, so for sure that one has to get lit last. This one has more time on it. So I can do this. And hopefully make it. This Merlin Charles will get the best of me. That's another one done. So, they all have different puzzles. I hope some are repetitive, as in the same as the ones we've been doing, because I'll be able to get them done faster if I know what to do. Yo, there's no way I'm taking all of this all the way over there. There's a cave down there. I don't know what's down there. The freaking train almost ran me over. You know what? I'm only coming Not up sure here. how I'd fare in a little place like this. To get this flame. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. There's so much stuff up here, though. Rebellion. I can't go back there. Looks like that guy has a mission for us. Let me get all this loot here. Like in I, didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be, you know, so packed with chest up here, but I'm glad we came up here. Asked me to follow those butterflies into the forbidden forest for her. Not Revelio. Person that Clementine. It's already full. That's not good. Yeah, all my gear is just full. <laughs> All right, so let me talk to that guy. See if he has a store I can sell some things to. I 
I can never face Milo's daughter again. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the Acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch. So that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is... As Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. Wow. Maybe that's the one that I I found when I was now, going to the forest. Where could the Acromantula cave be? Could you please remind me what you needed help with? My friend Milo and I went to an Acromantula's cave, hoping to harvest its venom. It didn't go well. I barely escaped. Milo wasn't so lucky. I'm hoping someone can retrieve an heirloom from Milo's body to give to his little girl. Yeah, it's probably that body we found or whatever was back there. So we're gonna an honest day's work for an honest fix. Take a look over there too, I guess. But we're gonna focus back to the one that we were doing. Which was this one.